Hi, I'm Kevin Jackson and I work with the InMapper product line at Help Systems and today I'm going to show you how to create a new map and some of our formatting options that we provide. Let's get started. So with the software installed, we want to begin by creating a new map. For this demonstration, I'll be using my remote client to access my InMapper server. I'll demo a few different options for adding devices to the map before I go into the customization and formatting of the map. So to create a new map, let's first start by clicking on the file menu. Click on new map. Give the map a name. Click next. Now we have three different options to add devices to the map. We have auto discovery function. We have a manual entry where you can add devices manually or you can potentially scan on a subnet or you can import a file with the IP addresses on that file. So for this demonstration let's start with the auto discovery function. Select auto discovery, click create. The auto discovery dialog will appear. This will allow you to enter a starting IP address so we'll just start with uh, our seed router and then you can also uh, select an IP range or you can do a full subnet scan if you want to. So let's go ahead and do a range of IPs. We'll do 36 to 48. You can also enter your SNMP address here. We can only do a single SNMP community string at a time. If you're using SNMP v3 you can also enter that information here as well. If you have an idea of how many hops you want the, the scan to stop at, you can enter that as well, but by default we use one. And then for filters, if you hit edit filters, this allows you to select a scan type. You can either do a full active scan, which will find both uh, pingable devices as well as SNMP enabled devices. We can also look in your DNS server to access that information, or we can only access and use and scan in SNMP enabled devices only. So we'll, for this particular demonstration we'll just select SNMP devices only. And then click OK and then we can start the discovery. Once the scan is complete we have a logical map with our 13 devices that we have discovered and this is where you can start to do your customization. Let's take a look at other ways that we can scan in devices from your network. So we've gone ahead and cleared the map and then from the format, excuse me, from the insert menu, what you can do is you have the options to again do a full order discovery. Now you have some additional options to scan on, on a network or a subnet or you can also scan in individual devices. So let's go ahead and scan a subnet. So we'll select network and then we can add that particular subnet, class C, and then click add. This adds this network oval. We can right click on this network oval, click on scan network. We get the same scan types. Once again, we can select our scan type and then also select the range of IP addresses. So we'll go ahead and do that again. Let's go ahead and do the first 10 devices and we'll click OK and then we'll run the scan and Intermapper will scan in those devices onto your map. A third scan type is adding devices manually. So let's take a look. Under the insert menu we'll click devices, we'll get the prompt and then we can add individual IP addresses. So we'll go ahead and add a couple. and then we'll be able to run the scan and the mapper will run the scan and find those devices and add them to the map. Intermapper also has the ability to add devices via uh, a file. Um, it could be a tab delimited file or a CSV file. We have a specific format for this file so you can refer to that format on our user guide. So this is an example of a tab delimited file with a few devices that I want to import. As you can see we have a specific way that we want to import the devices onto the map. 
So what we can do here is we have an import function built into the product. We can click on the server itself, file menu, import, data, and then we can browse to select that file. Once we find the file, we can select the file, click open, and Inamapper will import that data. Click OK. We can double click on the map that was just added. So as you can see, we were able to import the four devices from this file. The name of the, the uh, map name is called Test Map Alpha, and you can see the devices that we've imported. So let's take a look at how we can format and customize the map once we've had the devices uh, scanned in onto the map itself. So Inamapper has some built-in formatting features that you can take advantage of. We have the ability to arrange the map via uh, some topologies. So we have a couple of different options here that you can arrange. Um, we can do labeling, so you can uh, change the way you label uh, the devices or the interfaces, positions of the labels. So we have a number of different functionality there. And then we also have built-in icons within the product as well that you can utilize to determine what devices you're running and you can set a label to those devices as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, an example of us arranging the devices using uh, organic topology. So we can do a full uh, kind of scale here by selecting all, click on the format, arrange, and we can do organic and it'll size it appropriately and move the devices where they're supposed to. You can move things around manually if you need, it, need to. And then what we can do from here is we can set up and use some of the different icons that we have built into the product. So if I need to uh, select specific icons, say I want to indicate that my, my devices here are switches, I can select them, right click, go to uh, icon, and I can go into our drop down menu. This is where we have the built in icons. You can also import your own icons into the product. The, you must ensure that the icon, the images themselves are sized appropriately. So um, whether it's 32 by 32 or 64 by 64 are an appropriate size. And then you can select the icons based on what you want the devices to, to, to show or indicate. And then we can do different things. Uh, we can change the, the actual subnet. I personally like to use the wire. So we can select the wire and then we can basically affix the wire to outlay the devices across the wire. And we can move things around however we want to kind of lay out the devices we can move them around. And then if we're looking to do uh, animation, we have what we call the marching ants. So you can select and show the animation, which is the flow of traffic. Um, and that option is under the edit menu, preferences, let's drag this over. And then under animation here, you can say display animation. And this allows you to see the animation. So this shows the flow of, of traffic on the interfaces on that device. So again, there's different formatting options that you can utilize. Um, you can import your own images to, to utilize for your devices. If you have specific backgrounds, you can overlay the devices on top of that background image, whether it's a specific image, an office floor plan, or maybe a Google Earth image, or, or just a standard image you can use to create that background as well. To update the background, you can go under the edit menu, map settings, select use background image. And once again, you want to ensure that the background image is sized appropriately so it can cover the full area of your map. So I choose a, a pretty large background image. Or you can go onto the colors here and you can change the background yourself. If you don't like the back black color, you can use a different uh, background color. and change that image yourself as well. 
Let's take a look on how we can change the labeling. So if we right click on the device, we can go into the format menu and then we can again change the label position uh, so we can change where we want to display that information or we can go ahead and we can add additional information to the label. Uh, by default, Inamapa will pull the smart name, but we have additional labeling that we can also pull um, and pull uh, additional information. These are called smart tags, so you can drag and drop them into this space. So if I need to add something like the MAC address, I can drag that in there, and then Inamapper will also display the MAC address on screen as well. A few other things to note about once you have the maps already created, uh, if you want to do uh, some charting, we can open up the status window, we can see the performance data, and then we can also create these real-time charts of the performance data. So any data set that is underlined, you can actually create a chart for. So it's a matter of just left clicking on the data set, the underlined data set, click on create the chart, and then Inamapro will start to pull the data and populate this chart. If you want to create a chart with multiple data sets, you can also just drag and drop the additional data set into that chart as well. So just left click on the actual data set and then release that into the chart window and this will pull the data from multiple data sets from different devices or from the same device. So this is our charting function that you can utilize to show the information, show the performance data at a glance. You can create charts with a single data set within the chart. You can create a chart with multiple data sets within the chart to show uh, maybe show trending against the other data sets so you have that functionality as well. Once you have your map built out, you can have Inamapper rescan the subnet to add additional devices that it sees to the map, or you can go into the insert menu and add devices manually. If I need to add a, a manual device, I can go in here, put in the IP address or the host name, and Inamapper will scan in the device and add that device to the map. I can do a manual attach to if I know that this device has an association with another device I can click on my attach to function and then connect that device now keep in mind that this is not an active link but it shows the association with this uh, particular subnet if you have any questions uh, pertaining to customizing and running your scans uh, for your network to start building out your map please refer to the user guide Thanks again.